Okay, I'm looking for a little bit of field test. So, you're going to see the light turn on. You're going to see it blink. What I'm looking for is which interaction between my high voltage and my Tesla coil. I'm going to mess with both of them until I can get a field that goes out, but that are interacting to make this light brighter, but pulse just the way I want it to. So, let's go ahead and set it. We're going to be right around, uh, what do I want to say? I'm going to put it right around 40 on my Tesla coil. I have it down the throat with a thicker wire so it has more resistance on the wire. So more than last time, we're just lit up everything. And then we got the same circuit I used this morning for my high voltage and I can turn that up and down. So let's see where we get at first and then I'll adjust up my choice Tesla coil. So not much of a field right here. Not many or many sparks on that, which is good. There we go, we're about 40 on my chest to call right now. I got a field growing right here. Make sure we can see this. And see I'm pulling it out right now. Right about right there. So our field strength's going out to there. Not bad. You can see as I get closer, it pulses with the disc. Let's go ahead. See, I just turned up my high voltage coil a little more. I'm getting less of a signal right there. So we turn it down. Oh, it's going in closer. It's pulling it in. Okay, let's go down just a little bit. The field's now less out here and more concentrated in here. So I'm hitting, I'm hitting a layer in between both is what's going on. So you see the field right there, it looks pretty good up close. Right here, we still got a good field right there, it's still pulsing. Right there is about the end of my field. And we're about 39 inches. And I'll just verify that measurement in a minute. Right there is about the field that I like, uh, probably in there just a bit more. So let's go ahead and adjust a little bit more. And turn down my high voltage one more time. That's got a great field going in and out. So you can see by putting that uh, aluminum tape right on the top that we're getting a better light out of it all together around the top. Let's just try it down below. We're still getting it down below. Oh my god. It's like it's directing it down below. Look at how bright that is. Wow. An interesting test there. Oh look at that. That's by the wires. Yeah, that, that wire is definitely variable. That one still is. That field ain't on the wires right there. So let's change it again. There we go. We went down again. 
And every time I turn it, it's about a quarter turn. Oh, look at that. So what I think is going on here, guys, is I'm getting bubbles. And each field interacts with each other inside that bubble. So as I'm decreasing one, it's bringing it into more alignment with the other. So I got a Tesla coil running and high voltage DC. So what you're getting is an interaction. And right when you find that sweet spot is where you get a lot, lot of stuff. Let's see our Tesla coil. Field has definitely decreased. I just turned it up. I was lighting up good right next to the camera. So, as you can see, pick it up. There it goes. It found itself again. There it is. It's losing it. You know, every little adjustment changes everything. Actually, that right there looks very nice. You can see the pulse in it, though. We do not have a flat field. It is pulsed. Tell you what, it, 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 everything kind of directed down to the bottom. I bet I, I don't have a closed loop on the bottom. Uh, the dome doesn't go all the way around to the bottom. I should probably do that and tape that. But it, it looks like it's directing it to the bottom if I leave it open. So that thing's pretty bright on there. So we'll adjust it down a little bit and see if we can't find the field a little bit closer now. So I want to take that Tesla coil voltage down a bit. Okay, we we're at 40.12 on the volts on my test Tesla coil coming in. And right now. 27.9 and that insulation on that wire plays a big difference in this right now I have no field interaction nope Here we go, we're back at 40. All right there, I just turned on my high voltage coil. That was much better. Look at that. So just so you guys understand this, Fields are going one way and fields are going another. It's kind of hard to line it up. If we could see the fields, guys, this would be easy to line them up. But we can't. So it's kind of a give and take. You know when it lights up better, you found it. When it doesn't, you're not there. The interaction between the two will set it off so you can go, okay, if I put down one too much, then the field goes away. 
if I put it back up to that level and it comes back, then there's obviously the interaction there. But again, we're pushing, basically to us, invisible field out of this thing. So that's the only way I can find to line it up right now. Now, Charlie did say he sent the uh, gravity meter, the gravito meter, sorry, I always say that wrong. Anyway, that'll give me an indication of what Alexi's seeing. When both lights light up, I know I hit both fields. And we'll see exactly where the light bulb comes out to, exactly if it's the same spot I found the field. That's what I'm most interested in. This guy built this thing for a reason, and I just want to see why. So, and at this point right here as well, just to be uh, honest with you, I have very little wires touching on both top and bottom discs. There's maybe one or two strands, maybe three, but out of all of the wires that are on there, that's all that's on there. So, anyway, and it's still sparking up quite a bit. Let's see. Let's just take a look. Probably the best thing. Let me take this off this tripod. So right here is what I'm getting. Now I can put them all on there, guys, and it'll bring it up to a really good strength. And it'll change the field distances, too. So, as you can see right there, that one barely has a couple sparks. It's uh, not really touching. So, we're getting a lot of different readings from this guy. It's kind of hard to interpret, but if you play with it for a while, you'll get it. Just to show you, both motors are tied together. That says 7.37. That's all the voltage that's going into it right now. Right there, 40.4 is what's going on on my Tesla coil. And you can see I'm just using the same circuit I've been using. Barely any breakout here is what's going on here. Let me find this little piece of it. Oh man, sorry about that. My camera shut off. I got it too close to this Tesla coil. But you can see it's got barely any spark out coming out of it, guys, because of the circuit the way I built it. Anyway. That's all that's hooked up to this thing right now. My God. There's so much static electricity in here right now, man. It's not even funny. I can just feel it walking around. Makes your arms, arm here stand up. Ooh, my battery, too. What the heck? Anyway, whatever. Let's record until it gives up, I guess. Go ahead and give it one more field test. Let's see where we're at. And there's our field. Well, we're going to measure this, so let's look at it. Every time I bring it near it. Okay, field goes out that far. We're about 30 inches right now. So, let me see. I turn this. If I can get it. Here's the crazy thing. I just turned it down on my high voltage. So, I was definitely out of alignment there. You can see it's much brighter now. Definitely out of a field alignment. So let's test that. Let's stay right there. Moved it slightly. Right there. Oh, it's stronger right there. So I moved the field out on it. Oh, I got a good interaction there. there go. Nope. Let's go. Right about there. That's 
probably the distance I want. Probably right here is where I want it. Let's see if I can adjust that in right there. There's a good feel, lesser, bad, right in right here. That's a good distance. We know the field's all in towards it, but where does it end? So right in right there. Adjust that a little bit more. Takes a minute for it to kick in, guys. So it's just the field's got to grow and come back. So, yep, right in there. That's about where I want it. You can see it dies out. Hardly, hardly a lot of field there. Still pulsing just a little bit. You get right in here, we're in the field. Right in there is the field. Anyway guys, hopefully this helps you out and see what I'm doing here. Is it the most scientific method? No. Is it probably the greatest method? No. Is it one that's showing me a result? Yes. So, we're going to stick with it until we get the Garrido meter, and then we are going to find out for sure.
can see it. I just brought the motor speed down quite a bit. It's getting close to stall speed. I have 3.38 volts into it right now. I don't know that you can see this as well as I can, but it is definitely getting lower on the pulse rate. As soon as I turn this disc down. Now, that pop up looks like it's barely moving compared to what it usually goes. Okay, there's that. So you can see the difference in the pulse. I don't know if you can see the light going back and forth. If it picks that up or filters it out. But I can definitely see it. Let's rapidly hit the power now on the voltage, on the motors. Okay, it should immediately go. I turn it up to 11. Pulse rate bringing it up. It may look on your screen right now that it's completely solid, but it's not like it's pulse rate in it. Kind of keep it right there and see it better, hopefully. Kick it right back up. You know, they say that motors are tied into the voltage, and you see why now has a lot to do with the pulse rate of your field. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, show it back down. Alright, we're just going to check this once again. It's decelerating right now. See what it comes back down to. Okay, now we're down at slow speed. 3.30, again 3.30. This is the voltage going into the motors. Let's speed it back up. Well, you can see that rapid acceleration now in that top one. Immediately changes the pulse rate. Ha. Oh man, if everybody only knew how interconnected this whole thing is. Wow. Ah, time to shut it down. I just wanted to let everybody know that I created a Facebook group. For everybody who's into the gravity flyer, you can share all of your experiments that you're doing. You can also share your gravity flyer that you're building yourself. As long as you guys be respectful, man, everything else goes. I'd like to see experiments, things related to the experiment. 
If it has nothing to do with the gravity flyer, at least tie it in some way with your comment. So, anyway guys, I'll leave the link in the description. Please check it out. A lot of cool people have already joined. They have a lot of great ideas. And you know what? It's just going to get keep getting bigger and better. So, anyway, here you go. Thank you. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.